feast marches, fair sorceress daughter, was enamored unseemly with the fool of her lord. Now the duke was deemed handsome, but his soul was vain and petty, and dark, and a dark mind as empty as last summer's gourd. And the fool, he was clever, and played for the lady, like a nightingale piping in a deep forest wall. But his station was lowly, and his body was aging, for their love was as helpless as if he was so. So the lady has fled death, the fool and her husband, to a cool secret garden by the midsummer's moon. And she's danced there as well, there up shifting and changing, and left them dumbfounded by sorcery's moon. She has led the fool crying to the gods of his father. She has led her to laughing to her high chamber door. And she's kept them there softly for two days bright dawning, while the service all gossiped in wonder and awe. Now the fool died in madness, saying he was ensorcelled. The two calmly smiled and sad secret smile. Now the duke rules his people in wit and good humor. And sings for his lady like Nightingale's song. And she's borne him five children, two sons and three daughters. They've grown straight and pleasant and sorcerous all. Now they dance in the garden and sing in the moonlight like Nightingale's piping in a green forest hall.